G'day, James. Hayden here at Pacific Toyota, giving you the personalized high definition video tour of our Toyota Prado. Uh, mate, before I run through the Prado, what I thought I would do is show you who Pacific Toyota are. So, mate, if you haven't been here before, this is us up here in Cairns. Uh, normally I would walk out in the yard, but as you can see, uh, it's not the best of days. <laughs> um, but, uh, mate, here in Cairns, we actually have two premium used car locations. Now between the two sites, we generally stock in excess of about 180 to about 220 vehicles at any given time. Um, so this is what the class is our city site. Um, we're located roughly about five kilometers from Cairns Esplanade and about five k's up the road, uh, you will come across our secondary site. So we have uh, Toyota and uh, well, our new car departments. Uh, so Toyota and Lexus, as well as our service and spare parts department up there as well. Um, and then about another five kilometers around the corner from them, we also own Hino trucks, opposite lock full drive accessories and Coral Motors. Mate, to give you an idea, we are the largest pre-owned department for Toyota in Queensland and we're the fifth largest in Australia. Uh, but mate, we'll, without further ado, we'll jump straight into the video of the, uh, of the Prado for you. So basically what I'm gonna do is just show you through the entire vehicle as if you were standing right next to me. So I've got the bonnet half popped here, um, but we'll start off in there. I've got the car running at the moment, um, but we'll show you through the engine bay. We'll go through all the paint and panel work and then obviously through all the interior condition um, and service history that comes with the vehicle as well. So I've given it a quick chamois, um, but we'll show you obviously inside. And as you can see, mate, she's nice and tidy under the hood. Uh, even on your um, on the plating here, there's no signs of corrosion or anything like that, which is perfect. Um, and there doesn't appear to be any sort of signs of rust um, in the engine bay, which is good. Um, it's all nice and tidy uh, under the hood, which is perfect. And then just up underneath the hood lining as well. Again, yeah, nice and clean through there. All right, down the front of the bonnet. And as you can see, again, nice and tidy. There's no visible dents in the bonnet, which is good. Um, bug on the paint there, that'll just come straight off. And from what I can see, doesn't appear to be any stone chips on the bonnet here. So the bonnet seems to be nice and tidy as well, which is good. Coming through the front bar. Again, through the front bar, mate, impeccable condition. Um, really, I'm struggling to find anything on this car so far. Rims and tyres, obviously, they're a factory alloy wheel um, and they are, from memory, a 17-inch, yeah, so 17-inch um, factory alloy and they're currently wrapped in a Goodyear Wrangler, um, which is an all-terrain tyre. You can see, heaps of tread life left on them. All right, go through all the, uh, the panel work here. As you can see, which is nice and straight. There's no visible dents in any of the panels there, which is good. Paint work wise, pretty much equally the same. Got the side steps um, throughout, obviously, both sides. Working our way through to the rear of the car now. Spare wheel cover. This fitted with a genuine tow bar. Obviously inside we do have your cargo blind just here. Obviously seven seats. You just pop out like so. And then the base. Place like that. 
but obviously as you can see there the seats are all in really good condition as well uh, to release it's just a lever on the top here and they pop down Oop. that lever sorry and then that lever and they just pop back down into the floor there Carpet's all in really good condition. So is all the plastics. Uh, jack and tools, they're all located. Well, the jack's located in there. And then all the tools are in this compartment just here. As you can see there. 100 watt inverter through the back. Close that one down. Pop down beside this side now. As you can see, nice and straight, no visible dents there as well, which is good. And then paintwork, pretty much the same as the opposite side. There is a slight mark just here. Um, it doesn't look like it's actually through the paint. That might just be uh, a door that's traded paint with the car, um, but that should just come out with a bit of cut and polish, I dare say, um, but we'll give that a whirl. Um, but stone shit wise and, and damage wise, there's really none on this car. Um, as I said on the phone, it's in except, exceptional condition for the age of it. Uh, Alright, so that pretty much concludes the exterior. So we'll start off in the interior now. We'll go through the second row of seats here. So the floors. Back to the seats. Again, all in really, really good condition. Up through the hood lining. All nice and tidy there. So we'll jump inside the car now. Give you a look inside the, uh, the cockpit of the vehicle. We'll go through all the instrumentals and obviously all the service history. control uh, all your sound obviously all your stations and whatnot through uh, your your steering wheel here and then you've obviously got all your Bluetooth controls just over here as you can see that just cancelled out of that one and go obviously mode we'll go to a station here As you can hear there, obviously all the speakers are all in uh, in good condition. There's no distortion or anything like that, which is perfect. Um, go over across over into here where you do have all your, um, obviously, uh, your side mirror controls. Now they do have a power fold option as well. As you can see there, get eight. And then you obviously push button start. You have your idle up and also you do have adjustable headlights. And then all your window um, controls are just here with um, obviously your central locking as well. Current kilometers on the vehicle. So you've got 140,150 showing on the clock there, which is awesome. It does need a little bit of fuel, but um, no stress, we'll get that done. Uh, obviously air conditioning controls um, are just all here. Um, so you do have a dual zone climate control. And I can tell you right now, the aircon works perfectly because it is freezing in here at the moment. Um, obviously each side, like I said, you can control the, uh, your ideal temperature, as you can see there. Um, but you, then you've obviously got all your normal, um, modes there as well. So, um, going through the direction, obviously all the, all the fan speed and whatnot. Uh, down here, like I said, this is all your infotainment system. Um, so obviously your stations, you do have AM, AM, FM, USB, um, and AUX. And obviously, um, something that is very rare these days, a CD player. Um, it does come complete with a reversing camera as well, as you can see there. 
all your four-wheel drive options are just down here. So it's down a differential lock. Um, and then you've got, um, obviously, being a Prada, a constant all-wheel uh, four-wheel drive. And then uh, you push into a, uh, a low force system there. Six-speed manual gearbox. We do have two remote keys with the vehicle. Now, they are the genuine key. Um, there is your USB and AUX. And then your 12 volt auxiliary port. Do have a couple of little cup holders in here as well. A couple of hardy holes. And then your glove box there as well. Center console, sorry. And then inside our glove box, like I said, we do have a full service history. So we have the first at 10, then at 20, 31, 39, 47, 58, 67, 74, 80, 99. 114, 123, 132. Um, and then obviously we've done the last one here. So it's uh, your next service, 150. Um, so as you can see there, full and complete service history with the vehicle. And as you can tell, inside the vehicle, again, in exceptional condition. Um, obviously a couple of little wear and tear marks like around, obviously uh, just here, um, which unfortunately is unavoidable. Um, grabbing that constantly to get in and out of the vehicle uh, but the dash all in really good condition there's no scratching the dash isn't soft or anything like that which is good um, you know your center part here is all in fantastic condition as well but you don't you'd almost call this like a new new car really um, even though it is a, a third aim plate um, the car has been exceptionally well looked after um, it's a credit to its previous owner um, but uh, mate I'll leave that um, decision to you um, look i hope you enjoy the video if you do have any further questions though please don't hesitate to give me a call um, and hopefully uh, we do business very soon cheers mate